Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and God bless you. This is Freddy Cruz Omniscient Vlog Number Two. Yes, Vlog Number Two. Just a week ago today, I finally picked up the courage and started this vlog idea, and I'm so excited. I checked uh, last check, I had like a hundred plus views and a few subscribers. So, haha, ha, I'm excited. Long way from the goals I set. Check out my first video and you'll see this crazy go I got. Um, but keeping in mind, as I mentioned in my first video, my hopes is that I keep these videos with relevant content for like any time. Like I'm really hoping that maybe 10, 20, 30 years from now, one of my grandkids will be watching this and be like, man, it's grandpa. He was bald or whatever, you know, but to see it and what I have to share on these videos are going to still have an impact on their lives because it's important, right? It's not like, can I reach millions of people, but can I make a difference in one person's life? And if I can make a difference in one person's life, then I've made a difference. And that's key and important. I talk about that in my first video, so check that out. You don't want to get caught up in the big things and lose sight of the things that are closest to us. So anyways, um, a little bit about my journey. I just turned 50 this July, July 23rd to be exact. In case next year you want to wish me a happy birthday or send me a gift or something. Now you know it's July 23rd. I just turned 50. I'm on this like um, lose weight, get healthy, um, be an entrepreneur, start my own business, which I finally did. I launched my first business. I'll talk more about that on my next video. And um, just kind of like what's going on here in Puerto Rico, what, what, you know, how are things progressing after Hurricane Maria and whatnot. Um, and that's the idea of my blog. But again, ultimately, because I want to be able to bless at least one person. Um, and um, I'm hoping I can do that for somebody today. Uh, so anyways, back to my business thing. So I have this one of my business ideas is getting involved in the recycling industry, um, driving around the island of Puerto Rico, just enjoying the scenery, the greenery, just it's such a beautiful place and I love it. I love being here. But one of the things, kind of like an eyesore that's caught my attention were the mounds of tires, it's like tires everywhere, like a uh, ridiculous amount of tires. And last I checked, there's like one, possibly two companies out here that are doing something about the tires, but it's just so limited in reaching the island and its need. I just see like there's a world of opportunity there that I'm hoping to tap into. Just the whole eco-friendly and just helping the environment. As a matter of fact, I'm very excited because my wife and I finally made our first, I believe it's our first like, eco-friendly product purchase earth friendly construction this thing um is mildew resistant shower liner and it states on its label that five bags of garbage went into making this shower liner that means a landfill each one of these shower curtains is sparing a landfill of five bags of garbage which here in puerto rico that's a big deal like there's a law passed a few years ago where they need to be recycling at least 11 percent of their waste and when i last checked they were like at five percent like you know I don't know how they come up with these figures, but that's what, what they're saying. And I do know there's a need, and so I'm hoping to be able to do something about it. So keep that in mind. Feedback, comments, anything you have to share that can help me with this um, venture. Well, what I'm thinking like right off the top of my mind is just I can get some trucks, go out through the island and gather these tires, but then like connecting with some offshore company or somebody who will take the tires and recycle them into, you know, like shredded and turf for play lots and stuff like that there's a lot of possibility of asphalt is another thing that tires get recycled into which Puerto Rico can use asphalt these streets are bad here the roads are bad um, but anyways that's kind of like one of the things that's on my heart right now that I'm trying to look into and see what I can do about um, making a difference there so with that said like my word of encouragement today like what I want to leave with in this video is this importance of hearing these three words and they are I love you if you would just take time out today to tell somebody like sincerely like look I love you and if you can add to I love you God loves you too man it just I really believe and I feel strongly like there's people out there in your immediate circle that need to hear I love you like maybe even your spouse I don't know when was the last time you told your spouse I love you you know and um and the ad that God loves you too like right now, I, I want to end my video with that, man. I, I, there's people that are viewing this that know me, and I just want you to know, like genuinely, sincerely, I love you. 
I mean, I love people in general, right? But I'm saying, like, if you're viewing this, you know me, I want you to know I love you. And I also want you to know that God loves you too. So be blessed. Take time out today to tell somebody I love you. And um, give me some feedback on that. Share some comments. Send me an I love you. <laughs> Anyways, this is Freddy Cruz on Mission Vlog number two, signing off. Peace be with you. Amor, desde Puerto Rico. Shout out to my people in Chicago. Good coffee. Good coffee. Peace.